Hey everyone, welcome to The Unemployed Millionaire Show. Matt Morris here, and today I wanna to reference something that uh, I kinda of mentioned on my last show, was the unfair advantage, and then I talked about the edification triangle. And so, I'm gonna go through some of the psychology behind why it works to have two-on-one -on -one versus you going one-on-one -on -one with your prospect. And so, we popped into my home office here and we're on the trusty whiteboard. And so, what uh, the scenario here is between you and your friend, the relationship that you have between you and your friend, if you're sitting down together, I mentioned this on the last show, is you they may trust you, but you don't necessarily have any credibility. And so, this is a relationship of trust. Now, in getting them started within your organization, in some cases, trust is not enough because we said this in some of the previous episodes is people wanna follow others that they perceive that are at a higher level leadership than themselves. And so people wanna be led and if your friend maybe doesn't see you as a leader um, and things like that, you bring someone else in. And um, so the relationship that will work if you combine it with trust between your friend and the expert is this, it's credibility, okay? Now, it is your job to create the relationship of credibility between your friend and your expert. Now, your expert could be someone in your upline. Uh, again, it doesn't have to be someone who's making a ton of money. Uh, it just has to be someone other than you. And uh, it could be someone cross-line from you. Maybe it's a friend of yours and you guys just, you know, you decide to team up and work together. The key is having someone other than you that you can establish credibility with, that you can make the expert. Now, I've done thousands of these over the years and I, as the expert, and if the credibility is not established by the person who's inviting them, then there's a very small or much lower chance that that person will actually enroll, that will get them signed up. Because you can't expect the expert to edify themselves. See, it sounds egotistical if, you know, I get into the presentation and I have to say, oh, well, I've made millions of dollars and I've done this. It just doesn't come off very well. But when someone else does that, then it works. And so the, the way that the whole edification triangle works is when you're starting the meeting and, you know, you are introducing your friend to your expert, what you're going to do is you're going to talk good about your friend. And let's say, you know, just say, hey, you know, this is my friend. Let's say, you know, I'm your expert, right? Um, or your expert is someone named John, okay? So you sit down with your friend. Hey, Sally, this is my friend John. John, this is Sally. Now, um, Sally and I, we've been great friends for a lot of years. She's one of the smartest people that I know. If she really understands what we're doing, I think she can do amazingly well. Now, Sally, this is John. Now, I am, I just feel amazingly blessed to be able to work with John. His schedule is super tight. So uh, really, really exciting for me to be able to get some of his time to sit down with, with him uh, is a total expert in uh, the project that we're working on. In fact, he's one of the top leaders in the area. He's helping a lot of other people have a lot of success and I'm just really fortunate to be able to work with him. So Sally, meet John. So what I did was John doesn't have to be making a million dollars. I just, but I had to establish that relationship of credibility. And so I've said good things about Sally. I've said good things about John. Sally's feeling good, you know, John has now been built up as an expert, and then the next step is for me, if I'm the person bringing the prospect to uh, my expert, is I zip my lips. I let John do the work as the expert. And so if John's going through a presentation and he forgets to mention something, I'm gonna be cool with it. Because if I step in and I say, oh John, also don't forget, tell her about this, then what I've done is I've removed that credibility. I've just eroded that credibility away because now I'm somehow the expert if John forgot to mention it. So you let John do the presentation. Let the expert do the presentation. Don't erode that credibility. Whenever you jump in, you interrupt, things like that, it just doesn't work. And so having done thousands of these, trust me, uh, that edification triangle works very well. Make sure you let your expert be the expert. So hope this helped. Be sure and uh, comment below. Always love to hear from you. I read every comment that you put. Make sure you subscribe my, to my YouTube channel. And if you feel like this would add some value to some others, make sure you share it with your team, share it on Facebook. And also make sure you subscribe to my newsletter at mattmorris.com. Put your name and email address in and I'll send you out a copy of my Seven Secrets to Seven Figures program. Until the next show, make life an adventure.